Hey, 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 my lovelies. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to The Daily Vibration. If you're tuning in via my podcast, welcome. If you're tuning in via YouTube, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today is December 29th, 2019, and we're doing The Daily Vibration for today. Now, The Daily Vibration is the number eight today, but a little bit about what's going on uh, before we jump into your vibration is I do want to remind you guys that The Daily Vibrations are uploaded at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every morning. Uh, Also, not just on YouTube, but also my podcast. If you can't um, listen to it via YouTube, you can definitely tune in via my podcast. I also want to remind you guys that I do go live on Friday nights on my YouTube channel. Uh, It's called Pay It Forward Fridays, where I jump into the chat and I answer questions so you guys can come on over and join us and join the community. We have a really, really good time on Friday, so you guys can come on and join us. Uh, next, I also want to remind you guys that there are specials going on. Uh, for the month of January, so you guys can get an intuitive reader slash coaching session with me for a donation of $31.73 because we're now up to uh, 3,173 subscribers. There are only, well, now um, 14, I believe 14. There are only 14 slots left now um, because I think somebody submitted one yesterday when I made the announcement. So there are 14 slots uh, available now. When those slots are done for the month of January, they're done. We'll pick it up again in February, okay? So there are 15 slots now open for the month of January where you can get an uh, intuitive reading slash coaching session with me for a donation of $31.15 So take advantage of that. If you're tuning in via YouTube, you can find the information in the description box of where you can make your donation. If you are tuning in via my podcast, I will give you that information at the end of the um, the daily vibrations today. Not to mention, guys, that I am going to be doing monthly meditations for the new moon and full moon, and those will be only by a private streaming link, and you will need to make a donation of $20 if you want to be a part of those. And uh, the next meditation will be on January 10th. It is a Friday, so there will be no um, paid forward Friday for that particular Friday because we're going to be doing the new moon. I'm sorry, the full moon uh, meditation. So if you're interested in that, you can also submit your donation uh, to be a part of that. All right, so today we're vibrating on the number eight today, okay? As always, you guys know how I feel about that. Your intuitive energy is always available for you to use and at your beck and call whenever you choose to tap into it. So intuition is always available to you. Whether or not you use it is really your choice, okay? Now keep in mind, although uh, the vibration is for the 29th of December 2019, Whenever you click on this message, if it resonates with you, you keep what you need and you leave what you don't, okay? So today in the atmosphere, my love, we have not only intuitive energy, but we have confidence energy in the atmosphere as well as new beginnings in the atmosphere today. We do have insightful energy in the atmosphere today as well as discipline, okay? Not to mention cause and effect is in the atmosphere today. That's, so that will be AKA karma, okay? Uh, on the lower vibrational end of the number eight today, my loves, we do have have um, superiority complex. We do have greed in the atmosphere. We do have domineering energy as well as tactlessness, which means people can pretty much just do things without manners or just say what they want to say without really taking into consideration anyone else's feelings. Okay. Now, because we're vibrating on new beginnings energy today as well as self-confidence and discipline and not to mention like just domineering energy in the atmosphere it's going to be important for you guys to choose your battles wisely which means that why argue with someone that you know is not going to get your point or see your point that makes no sense okay so be mindful about that today where you want to direct your energy okay now um Starting this week, we are going to be dealing with Mercury's energy. So starting in tomorrow's daily, we're going to tap into Mercury's energy and kind of learn exactly how Mercury plays a part in your life and in your daily um, operation of how you interact with not just uh, your family members, but with others in general, okay? Mercury rules communication. So we're going to look at that and see how that fits in your day-to-day life, okay? That's why when you see Mercury goes retrograde, you can kind of see your gag 
gadgets or maybe even your physical communication with others can be a little wonky and a little shaky. Okay, so we're going to get into Mercury this week, okay, the planet of communication, and just kind of talk about how that fits in and how that plays out in your day-to-day -day life, as well as... Um, um, your personal um, body and where that also lies within your chakra system, okay? Now, my lovely, so we're going to start off with the wisdoms today. I'm going to start off with the wisdom for my wonderful earth signs because it is Capricorn season, and you guys know how I feel about my wonderful Capricorns. I love, 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 love my Capricorns, okay? So it's Capricorn season. Today we're doing one card, um, um, we're doing one card wisdoms today from my new deck, my chakra uh, wisdom tarot deck. I actually love this deck. It's really, really pretty cards. Uh, so if any of you are interested, um, it is called the chakra uh, wisdom tarot deck. And this is by, who is this by? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Tori Hartman, okay? So this is by Tori Hartman, if any one of you are interested in this. So let's start off with my wonderful Capricorns. Okay, Capricorns, you guys have this... The seven of coins today, a.k.a. the seven of pentacles showing up in your energy. And this is also showing up as crown chakra, okay? So the seven of coins, a.k.a. the seven of pentacles, is all about having a vision. This is all about you persevering and moving through some stuff today, okay? And pushing forward. Um, the seven of pentacles is just all about you putting in the time, long term, coming up with the vision and the plan so you can be successful. So a lot of you can be operating from crown chakra work today, my wonderful Capricorn which means that you will be getting some insightful information today that can help with your vision or whatever it is you feel like you're pressing forward or moving forward with today, okay? Now, for my wonderful tortoise, you guys have the hermit card showing up today. And the hermit card is showing up with solar um, plexus energy. The hermit card is all about you being able to take a look within. This is all about soul searching. This is all about inner guidance, right? And it's popping up with the solar plexus energy. And your solar plexus, my wonderful Taurus rules your ego and your will, okay? Now, remember, we also talked about um, paying attention to um, uh, your ego versus your spirit because you know your ego, right, is always going to tell you maybe more on the negative, pessimistic end of things, your spirit will. Okay, let me, let me just reverse that, okay? If you are not aware of who you are, and, 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 and really how you unfold and moreover, just like how you tick and what your triggers are. When you go into hermit mode, if you're not dealing with things in hermit mode, then there's going to be a place where you choose the lower vibrational aspect of yourself. If you're going into hermit mode and you're really starting to understand who you are and you're starting to work out internally, my wonderful Taurus, who you are, you can see a lot of unfoldment going on. With this solar plexus work, it's really important for you to pay attention to your the true nature, right? Not the ego part of you that has limitations, but the part within your spirit that is limitless, that is not bound by or bound to anything because all things flows from that pure place of spirit, okay? So today, my wonderful Taurus, you may be um, uh, maybe a little bit in hermit med in your hermit mode, not hermit med, hermit mode, um, okay? Dealing with... Um, your ego and your will. Should you operate tit for tat today? That might be, you know, don't do not do the tit for tat today, Taurus, okay? Go within and figure out what you want to do. So you may want to um, fall back and take inventory so that way you don't have to react, but you can take action. There's a difference between react, reacting to something and taking action, okay? My wonderful Virgos, you guys got the Nine of Cups today, okay? And the Nine of Cups is showing up with Sakwa Chakra energy. Um, Sakwa Chakra is responsible, my lovelies, okay, for your emotions, for change, and for relationships in your life. So my wonderful Virgos, today some of you could be dealing with um, relationships that may trigger some emotions that change needs to come about. And this is definitely dealing with your nine of cups. This is dealing with your happy life, happy um, outcome, wish, um, wish fulfilled, okay? So today you're going to have to deal with those things in your daily um, walk or, you know, you may be encountering energy that has you looking at these things today as you move through your day, all right? Now, 
Let's jump into my wonderful air signs. And for my air signs, we're dealing with Gemini, Libras, and Aquarius. And my wonderful Geminis, today you have the Fool card. And the Fool card is represented by the root chakra today. And this is all about what's grounding you, what's on your mind, what's in your now moment, okay? And the Fool card is showing up, my wonderful Gemini, that's saying it's time to reset. It's time for this new beginning. It's time for you to start over, okay? Now... You do need to pay attention to your root chakra, however, because your root chakra really um, is more so this earthly realm. What is grounding you and what's on your mind? What are you putting your attention towards? What, are you, what is your mind on? What is your energy directing, directing itself towards? Okay, my wonderful uh, Gemini. So ground yourself today. Know that it's a day of reset. You may have to release the old so you can embrace the new, my wonderful Geminis. Uh, now, Aquarius, you guys have the Knight of Cups energy. Um, and the Knight of Cups energy is represented by the um, Thought Chakra color, which is all about communication. And we're going to be talking about that today. I mean, this week, remember that Mercury energy. So Aquarius today, you guys may need to communicate a little bit more, or you guys may have someone coming in to communicate, right? Is this a night? Yep. This is a night. Some, someone, uh, oh, I need to put on my glasses, y'all. This is not the queen of cups. This is actually, um, this is not the the Knight of Cups. This is actually the Knight of Coins. I'm sorry about that. The Knight of Coins. And the Knight of Coins here is all about um, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is slow moving energy, but this is also about being methodical in how you move. This is also about being consistent in your movement, my wonderful um, Aquarius. So a lot of you will have to communicate, okay, especially when it comes to with your money, uh, communicate clearly, okay, as you come up with this routine or communicate clearly with someone about your new routine and how you're moving. You may even have to communicate clearly about what you want within this promotion motion or this raise, there's some type of clear communication that may need to be had with your Knight of Cups and uh, your Knight of Coins energy, which is all about efficient and being methodical, okay? Coming up with a routine or uh, plan today, especially when it lies around your confidence and being able to manifest my wonderful Aquarius, okay? Libras, you guys have the Nine of Wands energy popping up in your reading today. And with the Nine of Wands energy, this is also Sakura Chakra energy popping up. Um, you guys may have some type of um, interesting um, unfoldment today um, in, in your relationships or maybe even some change that needs to come in today with this nine of wands energy, a.k.a. nine of fire, a.k.a. Um, nine of arrows, depending on what deck you're, you're looking at. This is telling you that you may have to have the courage to deal with some things today within your relationships or just be open to some change that's coming in today. Okay. Now moving on to my wonderful water signs. Let's start off with Pisces. Oh, Pisces. Wow. Pisces, you guys got the world card, but the world card is showing up in reverse here. And with the world card showing up in reverse, some of you could feel like things are a little bit out of balance or maybe not in completion today. Um, you may feel like some things today are showing up with lack of closure. Now, it is the holiday, so you guys can feel maybe some of those things unfolding um, around the holiday season, okay? You need to be mindful that self-confidence is key in new beginning. Uh, sometimes you may have to give yourself the closure that you're looking for until closure comes back around from that person but in the event that someone does not grant you the closure you think you deserve or you need know my wonderful Pisces you may have to give that to yourself today okay now my wonderful cancers, you guys have this um, crown chakra energy popping up. And with this crown chakra energy with the seven of swords in reverse, it is basically talking about that you're ready to move on. Um, you're ready to move on and move past um, any um, mental challenges that you've had. Anything that's been going on in your mental capacity, you're really, you're really at the place where you're ready to get that divine intervention and that mental clarity that you seek, my wonderful cancers, okay? And know that this is 
crown chakra works. So this is messages coming in from your higher self, from your guides, from your angels, okay? With this being in reverse, this is why I love this deck, because this deck actually matches the energy with the chakras, which makes it a lot easier for me to just relate to the chakras when I'm doing this reading, okay? Alrighty, my wonderful Scorpios, you guys have the Seven of Wands popping out, okay? Uh, with the Seven of Wands energy, that's still, once again, we're dealing with crown chakra work, okay? Um, we're dealing with crown chakra work. This is high intuitive energy that we're talking about. And with the seven of wands energy in reverse, don't be too overly protective or um, uh, maybe um, some of you could be feeling overly protective. And if you are, that's probably because you feel like you're... Um, um, the best way I can put it is you feel like you've been through a lot of challenges and you have to persevere through some stuff. So if you're coming all across overprotective, it's just that's that's just what it is because you've been through some shit and you just don't want to deal with the you just don't want to deal with the lower vibrational stuff anymore. So that could be one of the reasons why we're having this seven of wands energy today. The next reason could really just, you know, you feel like, you know, I'm 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 done with this. Like, ugh. Huh. I'm giving up. Like, this is not even worth my time. I just don't even want to be bothered anymore. So just be mindful today, my wonderful Scorpios. As you're interacting with this energy, you want to pay attention to your intuition. Know that today is a day where confidence is being brought to the forefront. So you may have to step into your confidence because you could be um, dealing with overwhelming uh, energy today uh that makes you feel like giving up or maybe even a little overprotective keep in mind everyone that we do have domineering energy in the atmosphere today and tactless energy okay so water signs all of your cards came out in the reverse which means to me that you guys are definitely gonna have to pay attention to your feelings and your triggers today okay all right T, let's move on to my fire signs last but not least we're gonna start off with my wonderful leos you guys have the king of swords in reverse today so you're gonna have to pay attention to any type of manipulation because this person or it could be you leos but this energy clearly knows your um your buttons and what buttons to press, right? So pay attention to that domineering and that, that superiority complex energy that's coming in today because you do have manipulative energy and maybe even somebody that kind of abuses your kindness or maybe is even physically abusive the way that they speak. Um, mentally um, and verbally abusive that the, of the way that they speak to you. So be mindful of that today, my wonderful Leos. It's kind of like they're self-projecting their insecurity, insecurities on you. So just be mindful of that today, okay? Now, my wonderful Aries. Oh, yes. You guys have the king of freaking coins popping up here, a.k.a. the king of pentacles popping up today. I'm hearing that song in my head. I got my mind and my money and my money in my mind. Today, my wonderful Aries, a lot of you could be focusing on your stability, your control, your disciplining yourself to bring in the abundance that you are desiring to have in your life. You are focused today, okay? And you're not really trying to have nobody to break your focus. You are quite clear about what you want, where you're headed, and where you're moving. And you're really not trying to fall off your game, okay? Now, this card is actually a really, really pretty card, okay? Um, and I love the pentacles because it just keeps reminding me of this five-pointed star, um, four elements and then plus you in the middle. Um, so he looks very, very like, um, I know what I want. I know I'm going, I'm confident in myself. This is what it is. Um, so that's that energy you rocking with today. My wonderful Aries, like I'm about my shit today. Like don't 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 come over here with your BS. Not trying to hear this. I'm about my I'm about my game today. Okay. So know my wonderful Aries that you are definitely rocking with um confidence energy today, especially when it comes to materialistic realm. When it comes to your finances, maybe when it comes to your home or maybe even a car. There's somebody um that listens to the video that maybe have been eyeing a car for a while now. You need to just go ahead and take that leap of faith. F A T E faith walk um and get that. That call because it's yours to have okay now last but not least we got my wonderful wonderful Sagittarius you guys have the star card which is popping up with the um, green shot for color which represents heart chakra work okay now with this star card just know that you guys are 
today. This represents having hope. This represents you maybe even on your spiritual walk. This represents a place of renewal and inspiration. This also can represent life-changing things happening in your life that was divinely orchestrated and written in the stars, okay? Um, so be mindful of that, my wonderful Sagittarius. You guys are operating today with a divine day. Like, things are written in the stars. I'm going to pull something just, uh, okay. Eight of Wands is popping up here, okay? All right, so you guys could have been feeling maybe a little bit, um... A little bit hopeful now because you've been feeling stuck and like things may have been a little delayed with this eight of wands energy in reverse or maybe even feeling frustrated okay know that things are changing for you my wonderful wonderful Sagittarius with this eight of wands energy in reverse you're frustrated but there's a lot of things unfolding behind the scenes that's written in the stars that you may not know um, about okay so just be mindful yep Sagittarius you yep you got you got heart chakra, you got root chakra, and you got solar plexus energy with this tower card popping out here today. So, um, yeah, you may have a conversation today with someone, my wonderful Sagittarius, where you may have to put an end to something, or you may have just recently ended something because you did not see a future, you did not see progress, you did not see decisions being made, you did not see what you needed to see for the length of time that you may have put in this investment, okay? But just know that everything is going to pan out because there are things that's happening that's been written in the stars, like divinely orchestrated. Some things did have to end because you are moving towards a place where um, your future is being um, planned. There's decisions that needs to be made. There's some things that you had to release, some things that you needed to embrace about yourself, my wonderful Sagittarius, so you can move forward in this energy. Overall, y'all, you just need to keep in mind that we do have confidence energy in the uh, in the air today, intuitive energy, insightful energy in the atmosphere today, as well as disciplined energy. Cause and effect is in the atmosphere for everyone today. So that's simply what you do to another, you do to yourself. There is nothing that just happens. There has to be a cause for that thing to happen, a.k.a. for that effect to unfold, okay? Keep in mind that the narcissist, the hazels, and the gargamels are out today. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, all right, with that being said, my lovelies, I want to remind you guys that these daily vibrations are uploaded at 12.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, not just here on YouTube, but also on my podcast, okay? Um, monthly things that's going on this month, uh, we do have the monthly meditations that will be done on the full moon and the new moon of the month, okay? If you're interested in that, you can submit your donation of $20 and you can get the private link. Uh, the first um, moon meditation which will be for the full moon uh will be january 10th okay 20 dollar donation which you can submit um to my paypal on my cash app um and you can also submit your donation for 31 dollars 73 cents that is the monthly celebratory special we only have 14 more slots left at that donation right if you um donation amount if you would like to get an intuitive um, reading slash coaching session with me those donations can be submitted to my paypal which is the number four your inner voice at gmail.com same way the channel is spelt, it's the same way my PayPal um, is spelt, which is the number four, your inner voice at gmail.com. Or you can cash at me at dollar sign K I M O Y one zero six. Once again, that's cash app at dollar sign K I M O Y one zero six. Okay, so this week we're going to be focusing, like I said, on Mercury, guys. Um, I'm a little congested now. Uh, vacation time is almost over for me, so I'm going to, yeah, we're going to get into your, um, your end of the years, okay? I'm going to start working on those, um, later today and have all of those up and posted before the first or by the first, okay? I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you guys on live this Friday, okay? So this Friday is our first live for 2020. Super excited about that, okay? Uh, and I think that's pretty much it, my love. So you guys know how we do. Be kind to yourself. Do something kind for yourself. Honor yourself. Love yourself. And I will see you guys in your next daily vibration tomorrow, okay? Bye, my lovelies.